Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Fell Custom. So today we're going to do a little bit of a patchwork. Uh, this is a Bowen Designs uh, Wolverine statue, and even though he's missing the claws, this statue is actually going to get new claws replaced, but the main focus on this video is patching up a chip of paint. So we're getting a little bit closer and we'll show you what's going on. Uh, as you can see, there is a chip of paint right there on his uh, right leg. So. Uh, because Bone Designs uh, uh, statues have a really thick primer on them, whenever a chip happens, it actually is not flush anymore. So what we have to do is you have to kind of sand it down. Now, you could get away with, uh, you know, like if you use Tamiya paints, you really don't have to use a primer because those are pretty good paints and they'll work pretty well. But with this statue, actually this is a very bright yellow. So it's not like... Um, you know, a yellow out of the bottle is going to match it. Some yellows out of the bottle might have a little bit more of an orangey tint. Some might be more of a, you know, closer to a greenish color sometimes. Uh, so it's like, I might have to find a yellow the kind to kind of match this with a little bit of a white. So it's kind of like I got to blend a little bit. So the first step is what we'll do is we'll kind of flush it out. What I'll probably will do is instead of sanding it down, I'll probably run some to my... Alright, so uh, we're going to rub some Tamiya Gray Putty over this. Uh, here's my Tamiya Basic Gray, my little rubber tool. Uh, make sure we get a little bit on there. And just kind of... i got to touch it up anyway because it's a fairly big crack, so I'm not really worried about getting too much. So, basically you're going to put that on and let that set and dry. I really want to make sure that Tamiya Putty is actually dried. Uh, sometimes if you put it too thick on there, it might be still wet and smushy underneath of it all. So I'll let this sit for like, you know, a good half hour before I start sanding it all down. So we'll be back. Alright guys, so uh, I, I filled it in. I sanded it down. So now it's kind of hard to see it, but if you can see, the middle is resin. The little white part is the primer, and then the yellow is the paint. Now, there's a little bit of a filler here, there's a little bit of tiny fill in there, it's hard to get in with the camera, it won't focus right, but, so basically I smooth it all out with my 3M uh, sandpaper, uh, so right now what I got to do is mask off here, and mask off here and here, and kind of just get like this, it's not a lemon yellow, it's kind of like a whitish type yellow, it's kind of like uh, toned down a bit, so we got to kind of mix up a little bit of a paint and kind of start matching it up, so, I'm going to get it all masked up, we'll get them onto some kind of a wood base and stuff, and then we'll start uh, touching them up. Alright guys, so I had to do some tests just to make sure I was getting a correct yellow, and it's kind of a little bit of a process. So what I decided to do is I used a Garage Kit to bright yellow, and I put a couple drops of Model Air uh, White. Because uh, this is a little bit thicker, this is a little bit watery, you know, good for airbrushing. So I wanted to get something that's kind of like in the mid-grade. And it kind of doesn't bleed, but it uh, also uh, is not like super thick either. So basically what I like to do is take my hair dryer, heat it up a little bit. It just helps uh, some of the paint stick. So then uh, we just start... Now it's a little too uh, white. So that's okay though, because that's going to help the yellow if I go over it with yellow. Alright, so we'll go a couple drops of yellow back in there. And I hit a little spot over here on this leg too, just a little bit, kind of helps blend it a little bit because like I said this yellow is really difficult to work with. Uh, so what I might have to do now is go back with a little bit more white just to kind of get that resin disappeared that's showing through. So 
sort of like trying to climb her again, just to kind of hide it. Alright, so on the camera, it's looking like we're... Eh, it's because of the light still hitting that paint that's semi-wet. So what we gotta do is get this white out of the bottle a little bit. And we'll go back to some of the yellow. As you can kind of see over here, what I'm doing is... I'm spraying it all over here just to kind of get it out. Gives you an idea why I'm you hear it off camera. Alright, we're getting the yellow back. Alright, so the next step is we gotta kinda start bringing out that orangey uh, color again. So, uh, gonna, gonna do a little bit of a garage kit pale flesh mixed in with the uh, the yellow that I'm working on. So pale flesh. See in the cup it kind of turns a little bit more orangey. This will kind of help with the shadowing. We don't want to go overboard with it. Because they didn't really go too crazy. Blow dryer. All right, let's uh, get them up out of this angle, and we'll put them up on the stand, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so we're all touched up. I did a little bit more detailing because I had to actually pick it up and uh, bring it closer to my face. It'll be kind of hard to get the camera in there. So it's kind of flat at the moment with the paints I use. So we got to kind of gloss it up a little to make it look like factory. So we get our uh, Pledge uh, Floor Care uh, finish right through the airbrush. Uh, we don't spray too heavy. Just enough just to give it a little bit of a sheen. If you go a little bit overboard, probably what I'll do is once that's all set, I'll just miss some uh, Garage Kits uh, flat top coat over it just to kind of dull it a little bit. So you get that like factory look because it's kind of, you know, eggshell uh, paints. That's kind of what they look like. So we just kick on uh, this piece. Now the, now the reason why I hit some of it over here is because I kind of did match a little bit to kind of get these kind of matched up. And of course, uh spilled some of it on my hand, but that's alright. Uh, so it's pretty much a little bit glossy. It's kind of sealed up. I uh, hit it with the hair dryer. So what I usually like to do is let this sit for like an hour or so or a little bit more just to kind of really let that uh, floor polish get... Uh, sealed up and then if I feel that it's too a little bit shiny compared to the rest of the statue I'll go to the flat top coat but there you go that's uh that all patched up so the next step is once I get the claws metal claws from uh, Warren I can pop those in and he's good to go
Alright guys, so we now have the repair and I put in the new claws. So as you can see, the old claws were these uh, weird little uh, things that the factory makes. But we've got a nice set of claws from Warren from Warren Resin. And client's very happy about it, so it's all repaired. New claws and it feels like a whole new statue now. So uh, hopefully you guys like the way it came out. Give you some help with painting chips on yellow. And we'll see you guys next time. So thanks for watching.